guys so this is another mini haul and this time it's going to be from Ulta and it's actually focused on NYX I got all NYX things except one product and I'll show that first and these are a lot of the new products that NYX has, NYX has come out with and so I wanted to go ahead and share this with you guys I wanted to do a mini haul in a separate video a bunch of mini hauls because I didn't want to combine everything into this one huge haul which it gets tiring for me to talk through and I know sometimes it is long and I don't want you guys to just have to sit there and watch the whole thing for one thing you're interested in so this is the NYX one before we get into it though I have been looking for this foundation in my shade forever and I hope it's not too dark but I think it'll be alright this is the Revlon Colorstay 2-in-1 Compact Makeup and Concealer I got the shade Oh, God. Forts and Cappuccino, because that's what I uh, am in in the Color Stay Liquid. And what this is, I can't wait to do these foundation impressions with you. This is a really cool compact. And the first section, you have a concealer. The concealer is a little bit lighter than the foundation in its own little section. And then you have your foundation, which is a cream foundation. And then you have this really nice mirror and sponge in here. And I don't even know the claims on it, but you know... New foundations in the drugstore that have a woman of color option. I'm all for it. So, just thought you guys should know. I can't wait to get into that. The next thing is all new NYX products. And I'm excited. Excuse my lack of makeup. I, am, I do have brows on and lip balm. But I have a weird bump that was infected and all this crap on my face. I don't want to put any makeup on over that. And then I have to throw crap away and infect all my brushes. And ain't nobody got time for that. So the first thing from NYX I got is this Soft Focus uh, Primer. And what was interesting to me is it comes in a compact. And this is, it says, no need for filters with the NYX Soft Focus Primer. Um, it gives a velvety skin perfecting finish. But it's a primer. And so it comes in a compact, just like the Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder. And it's, 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 I, I don't know. That's what it looks like. And it feels honestly like... Hmm. It's actually really cream to powderish. It's not greasy. Wow, it's not greasy at all. Like it disappears and it feels like nothing. Um, which that's one thing with these blurring things, they can be really slippery. And you got a little pad in there, so I'm excited to try that. The next that ugh, next thing is these NYX, um, which I was really excited about. The NYX Ombre Lip Duos, and what they are are a dual-ended retractable stick with a lip liner on one side and a complimentary lip shade on the other. And what the effect is, is an ombre situation like this. They have about eight or ten shades. These lips are actually, um, the Peach Girl on Instagram. I actually follow her. She's really cool. And, um... Yeah, I guess she won to be the lips for NYX. Really nice. And so I have one here open. And this one is the shade Bonnie and Clyde, which is pretty cool. And here's the lip liner. The three that I got, the lip liner is actually pretty similar to each other. Um, not the same, but similar. Bonnie is the lip... I don't know which one's the lip liner, which one's the lipstick. Don't get me wrong, but... They're really creamy. They don't say that they're matte. Um, I'm sure you could make it matte. I probably would with a translucent powder, but it doesn't say anything about the finish. So that's the lip liner, and that's the lipstick for that one. And then the other two that I have are Cinnamon and Spice. Here is the lip liner side. Here is the lipstick side, and here is the picture of her lips. Cinnamon and Spice. And then, um... I got a pretty one, pretty bright one. This is Hollywood and Wine. So this is the lip liner and this is the lipstick. And here's the picture. Pretty cute. I love that idea. Nyx nailed it with that. That's pretty awesome. Get a wipe here. All right. The next thing from Nyx is the vivid, these vivid bright. Um, excuse me, Vivid Bright Liquid Eyeliners. Um, I do, I'm a fan of NYX li Liquid Eyeliner Formula. They have the vinyl, they have the regular, they have the matte. Their liquid eyeliners to me are really, really good. So I figured formula-wise, hopefully these be okay. But I got two colors. I got a pink, a bright pink, and I got a green. Um, they have like yellow. They have a lot of other shades. So if I like them, I definitely would get others to accent. I mean, like to accent looks. And here's the green one. It, it's bright in the sense of the color. In the sense of like neon, it's, it's not giving me that. 
This is what it looks like. It's very pigmented. It's called Vivid. This one's Vivid Envy. And the pink... Ooh. And the pink one is called Vivid Fire. Um, and there's a picture of that one. I just didn't open that one up yet. So we shall see. Appears to dry matte and dry pretty fast. So that's a good thing for me. Um, and the next thing, y'all know, Highlight and Contour is it. Like, every Highlight and Contour product that has come out that I feel as though can work for my skin tone, I'm so excited about. Because I remember just two years ago when I wanted to contour and I was trying to figure it out. Or even a year and a half ago, I just could not find anything to contour with. I was resorting to the NYX, the MAC eyeshadow and Embark. And that was all I had to contour with my skin tone. And now that they are, I'm just so excited for the ones that I can wear and everything like that. I'm just super excited. So, uh, the first one is actually a highlight product. Um, um, brightening. Brightening pencil. And this is the Hydra Touch Brightener. They had three shades. I got the shade Luminous. And it is this retractable pencil. This is what it looks like. It appears probably too light for me in that sense. I'm going to have to blend it out. Yeah, I don't know. There was not a tester, but I went ahead and grabbed it. So, we shall see. The next <laughs> um, two products I'm really excited about. This first one is the NYX Sculpt and Highlight. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I'm not a big cream contour person because I just feel like it takes so much time. The cream contour products that I do have are pretty thick. It takes a while. I love the look of it. But me being impatient is kind of where the issue lies. Um, so this something in a quick stick form is great for me. I do have some like this. Some like in a quick pencil. But I don't think I own anything this quite like this. This is the Sculpt and Highlight. Um, what is this? Face Duo. So this is what it looks like. And it's in a double-ended... Um, wand type applicator situation. I got espresso. This espresso slash honey. I've, in my opinion, um, in my searching through Ulta and making sure, looking at the displays, this is the deepest shade. And I'm like, let's hope that it it works. You know, you know how you pray. Um, and NYX has the powder contour kit, and one of those shades works for me. So I, you know, I was like, all right. So the contour side. Uh, is called, I'm assuming, an espresso, and the highlight side is called honey. But the tube is pretty thick. It's not the standard, like, um, it's larger than, like, my e.l.f. duo. Like, it's pretty big. Like, you get a decent amount of product in here. So I'll show you the highlight side. This is called honey. It's really warm. It's really orange. Just thought you guys should know that from first swatch. It's really orange. So, I don't know how much I'll be using that. But the contour side, I already swatched. And this is the espresso side, I'm assuming. Oh, isn't that perfect? Isn't that perfect for a light contour for me? Not light, but a, a decent shade. It's not too stark dark for me. Um, and I'm excited about it. If you're darker than me, I don't know. That kind of bums me out, but... Hey. All right, the next thing and final thing is NYX has another contour kit situation. This is called the Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. I got this in the shade Deep. You have a highlight accent shade here right in the middle. You have a... No, I'm lying. You have the... Help me out. <clears throat> Hold on. You have a highlight shade, a highlight accent shade, a contour shade, and a shimmer shade. I'm assuming... The one in the middle is the shimmer shade. This is in deep. And then you have your highlight and contour. Which, I already know this is going to work for me. Look at that. Look how excited I get. Look at that. I'm so happy. So, I have a cream contour kit. I can't wait. So, y'all were talking about moving in with Nelson because I'm going to redo my makeup area. And now I can have like an entire drawer. Well, I have a drawer for highlighters. Highlighters, but I put my highlight and contour products in the same drawer. Now I can have my own drawer for highlight and contour products. Like, that's really exciting to me. Something that in the industry wasn't a lot of for us women of color, which it's still not a lot of. But just to be able to add and just see that element that was almost non-existent for us grow is pretty, pretty sweet. Anyway, that is the mini haul for my NYX products. If you have any comments, questions, concerns about any other products mentioned in this video, be sure to leave them down below. I love you all, and, um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.